When I took delivery of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro E Plus, it came like this. I mean, dude, we still have the plastic covers on the seats, uh, the visors, heck, even the shifter and the center console here. Now, this is a pretty common practice here in the Philippines where new car owners would keep the plastic covers on the interior of their car to preserve the newness of their brand new vehicle. Now, if you think about it, it's a form of uh, reverence because, well, a brand new car is considered special here. Now, friends, this Cherry Tigo 8 Pro E Plus is the current top-of-the-line model of the local Tigo 8 Pro lineup. So in this video, we are going to find out if this top-spec model is worthy of your reverence to the point that you will keep all of the plastic covers on. Let's do this. When I first encountered the Tigo 8 PHEV, it was a game changer in the hybrid 7-seater SUV space since it delivered near zero fuel consumption because it is a plug-in hybrid. With 100 kilometers of full EV range, you can go for weeks or even months without fueling up. It's a relative bargain back then, but it did lack some key features that would make it a true top spec model. Fast forward to today and Cherry Auto Philippines brings us the Tigo 8 Pro E Plus which is essentially the same Tigo 8 PHEV but with all the bells and whistles that you can ask for. Of course, the asking price also went up because nothing is free nowadays but for only 2,698,000 Philippine pesos the Tigo 8 Pro E Plus is still the most affordable 7-seater plug-in hybrid in the country today. So, what sort of features did they add and does it justify the price increase? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. So, I was one of the first to feature the Tigo 8 PHEV when it launched here and though being first had its advantages, well pare, there are also some drawbacks. Uh, for one, the variant that I featured back then uh, is no longer available. You see, the Tigo 8 PHEV used to have a retail price of 2.4 million Philippine pesos but yeah, even if it was the most expensive uh, Tigo 8 Pro in the local lineup, it didn't really have all the features uh, that's found in the lower price Cherry Tigo 8 Pro 1.6 liter turbo. Now that my friends caused a lot of confusion since the Tigo 8 1.6 liter turbo had more features but can be bought at a lower price while the PHEV had a higher price but lesser features. Of course, the hybrid powertrain of the PHEV carried a price premium because it is more powerful with 320 horses and 545 newton meters of torque on tap. Now, this added power is paired with fantastic fuel economy because you could just plug in and charge this hybrid and uh, you can go on full EV mode for a maximum of 100 kilometers worth of range. Now, that means that if you're daily charging this PHEV and uh, yeah, you're just driving in the city, that means that you don't have to consume a single drop of fuel. And that, my friends, is gold. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, it's something that the lower price Tigo 8 Pro 1.6 liter turbo with its gasoline engine, uh, yeah, it couldn't match. You know, it just couldn't match that kind of fuel economy. But dude, here's the deal. Cherry Auto Philippines already decided that this Tigo 8 Pro E Plus is the true top spec trim of the local Tigo 8 lined up here in the country. Now, how did they do that? Well, 
all the features that were previously found in the Tigu 8 1.6 liter turbo in the other trims, all the safety bits, yeah, pare. As you're seeing on your screen, we get that here as well. Now, advanced driver assist aids, pare. The Tigu 8 Pro E Plus has got you covered. In fact, the ADAS monitoring system of this Tigu 8 Pro E Plus has some really nifty Tesla-like displays here where it shows cars and even motorbikes around you. Now, dude, that is a little bit too high-tech and a little bit too spooky for me. And uh, yeah, for sure, I wouldn't use that feature when I'm driving, let's say, in a cemetery at night and I'm all by myself. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Now the looks of the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro E Plus may be a couple of years old already, but it is aging pretty well. You see, we still get that full matrix LED headlight units here, plus that large front grille that is now identified uh, to the Tigo 8 Pro. You see friends, we have a good bunch of Cherry Tigo 8 Pros roaming around the streets of the Philippines nowadays. So this front mug is already quite recognizable. The side remains largely the same as before. Well, except that we now have puddle lamps here on the side mirrors, uh, just so that you won't have to step on dog poo if you're going to your Cherry Tigo 8 Pro E Plus at night. Oh, oh yeah, another difference here is this Tigo 8 Pro E Plus now has a Type 2 <laughs> It now has a Type 2 uh, charging port here So you don't need to have like a, an adapter in case you need to charge the Tigo 8 Pro E Plus in let's say a mall charging station So yeah, other than that everything else remains the same which means that we still have the roof rails up top we still have 18 inch alloy wheels here same design as before and the mechanical bits still remain the same now, that means that we have four wheel disc brakes here and for the suspension we have a macpherson front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension now the ground clearance it's still at 167 millimeters, but uh, dude, you won't be going off-roading in this hybrid SUV anyway, so I don't see that as a big deal. All right. The cabin receives the most upgrades here versus the first Tigo 8 uh, PHEV that I reviewed. Of course, we retain the dual 12.3-inch display panels there where you get all of your vital stats uh, as well as, of course, your infotainment system. Now, we now get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here and it powers an 8-speaker Sony sound system. The same full HD 360-degree view camera image can also be found here. Now friends, I do wish that uh, we get wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto here instead of the wired systems that we have, especially since we're now seeing that in other car makers, especially for car models at this price level. Now if we did get wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, then it would complement the wireless charging pad that can be found right there underneath the floating center console. Now, I must admit, it's not really the best position to put a wireless charge pad because it's kind of hidden from view. Um, but, well, it, it is what it is. Now, we still get the same faux leather seats here that have the butterfly headrest there. We get power adjustability for both the front seats with power lumbar support for the driver's seat. So, that's, that's well and good. And we also have uh, ventilation in these seats. But the thing is, the ventilation is only done to your butt. <laughs> we don't get ventilation for the seat back. So yeah, that's something that can be improved in the future. Now, aside from that, we also have uh, some added benefits here, like some, we also have heated seats, pare. We have heated seats. We also have a heated steering wheel here which is not really that useful here in the Philippines. 
Now the AC controls are also separate uh, separate here from the infotainment system and I'm happy for that. We also have a separate LED display there for your climate control. And uh, yeah, what else? Oh yeah, we have a panoramic sunroof here. Now. As for the layout of the cabin, well, it's the same as the other Tiggo 8 Pros in the lineup, or at least the previous Tiggo 8 PHEV, which means that we still have this all piano black um, floating center console there, which still has a plastic cover. Ooh, let me remove that. Let me remove that. Wait, wait. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, pare. Oh, yeah. Ha. Ooh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we also have um, plastic on your dual display here. Oh yeah, hear that? Ooh, love it, love it, pare. Anyway, back to the cabin layout and materials. Yeah, we still have the same soft touch dashboard here. Soft touch materials on the dashboard and the door cards, which is already what you would come to expect from a Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. One of the noticeable changes here is the tuning of the steering feel. You see, Cherry Auto seems to have added a bit more heft in the steering feel, but yeah, the response is, yeah, it's still not as sharp as I want. Uh, let's just say that it's still a bit of a long way from, let's say, the steering response of a BMW SUV. Now, the level of ADAS and driver assistance of this Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus is, yeah, it's also a little bit um, too much, you know? It might overwhelm some people out there. We've got traffic jam assist, we've got lane keep assist. I mean, there's definitely a learning curve here in order to fully master all of these systems. Now, when you put that together with the regeneration levels and the different hybrid settings of the Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus, pare, it could really make you dizzy with so much controls. So, yeah, I would highly advise that if you're driving this vehicle, this Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus, that you would, you know, you should take some time to study the different controls and even the user's manual before you go out and fully use it. I mean, to be honest, this, my friends, feels more like a gadget uh, rather than a car. On a positive note though, the ride of this Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus seems to have been retuned as well. It's definitely quieter here even when you're driving on the highway. And yeah, the ride itself feels a little bit more refined. Uh, it now feels like a 2,700,000 Philippine Peso ride in terms of refinement and comfort. But uh, let's see if this, my friends, also applies to the second row seats. Alright, so the first thing that you'll notice uh, here at the second row seats of the Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus is that it's not the most spacious uh, second row seats in the mid-size crossover SUV category. See, space is not the strongest feature of the Tiggo 8 Pro series and yeah, the bulky front seats yeah, doesn't really help its cost as well. Now, we do get an improvement here in the form of the rear AC vents. You see, we, we've had rear AC vents from before amongst all the Tiggo 8 Pros, but this Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus now gets its own independent fan speed control and it even comes with an ionizer button. Now dude, we also have some fancy looking numbers there and it says outside, inside and I'm not really sure what it means but I have to admit, it, it does look fancy. <laughs> now as for the, the third row seats, unfortunately the third row seats of the Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus is still the same as before which means that we still don't get rear AC vents there, so it's gonna be a little bit warm and it's still a bit cramped, such that it's best reserved for kids or for, let's say, your so-called friends that you would like to torture. Now, the third row seats may not have been updated, but we do get some updates here at the back. First up, dude, check out the badging. You see, we now have a proper Tiggo 8 Pro badge there, but they also added that blue E-plus badge 
and we also have a plug-in hybrid badge right there on the other side. As you can see, we also have the sequential turn signals here that's going on because this Tiggo 8 Pro E Plus is now equipped with a smart power lift gate. Now that means that if it detects the key fob which I have here, uh, and you just stand there for three to four seconds, it's going to open itself up. But because it's smart and it knows that I'm, I don't really want to open it now, so yeah, it just gave me that warning, but it didn't really pop open. Now, let's open it manually. There, see? So we now have a smart power lift gate here, and once you pop it open, you'll see that we still have the same cargo capacity as before, which is 1,179 liters. Now that, my friends, is good enough for three large, I'm not talking medium here now, large sky travel luggage. As you can see, we have one large sky travel luggage here, and you can put a second and a third one right there, plus maybe some more smaller items on top. Now, dude pare, I also have to give a shout out and thank you to Sky Travel Luggage for providing uh, this luggage for us to do our luggage test. Now, in case you are interested in Sky Travel Luggage, I'm going to put the, the link in my video description below. Some people will say that 2.7 million Philippine pesos is too expensive for a Chinese-made car. If the badge stops you before you even look at it, then this is definitely not for you. But look past the political stereotype and you'll see a fully packed 7-seater plug-in hybrid SUV that offers so much value for the price. Then when you include the 7-year general vehicle warranty plus the 3-year free PMS package, plus the number coding exemption until 2030, then you know that you have a great deal in your hands. For the price and all the features and tech available to the Cherry Tigo 8 Pro E+, Plus, we can now confidently say that this, mga pare, is the undisputed top dog in the local Tigo 8 lineup. Thanks for watching.